Hi guys. I thought maybe today I'll show you how I set up. I've been needing to start my organization and my stickers for a while now before they really get out of hand. So when I was at Walmart last week, I decided to get my supplies and get started on that and then build on it as I have to. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so what I decided to go with was this one inch smaller three ring binder and I figure it will hold quite a bit and then to put in it I got these Avery sheet protectors they're five and a half by eight and a half they fit in here very well so what I figure I will probably do is I will put my stickers down into these sheet protectors keep them divided out a little bit better organized and not so haphazard and all over the house like they are now I don't have a whole lot but what I do have is scattered so let's get started on that What I think I'm going to do so that they will stay separated just a little bit better is I'm going to make inserts between them out of just plain paper in the size of that page there. So let me measure that real quick so I can get those cut. There were 10 in here, 15 in here, so I'll need to make 15 of them. So. Bear with me, I'm still having some, uh, not really health issues, but not feeling well, so I'm still just a little bit unorganized and discombobulated. So this video may take a while, but I will get there. So let's see how long these are. They would appear to be, just like it says, eight and a half by five and a half. So that is what I will cut them. Okay. I just want to make sure because sometimes when they tell you the size, it's not necessarily the inner size. It's more like a overall outer size. So I didn't want to cut them wrong from the get-go and have to recut them. So we'll do five and a half. Should be five and a half as well. Two, three, four. Some areas of this I may speed up just for time reasons so it won't be such a long video. By putting this sheet of paper in here this way, I can put them back to back, and look, if they're not the same theme, they will still, I can still put them back to back and more utilize and double up on capacity within each page. At least that's the working plan. As with anything I've discovered, you start out with a plan, and it doesn't always end up that way, but you do the best that you can. We'll see how it does. I 
I've been trying to design my own planner stickers. So I do have a few that have been successes. More failures than successes. I'm still experimenting with sticker paper. So I found one that I really like, but it doesn't stick well. It really cuts well. Then another one that sticks well, but it doesn't cut well. So I'm trying a third one right now, and hopefully three is the charm. I don't know. I'm waiting on it to come. It's supposed to get here tomorrow, so I will probably experiment with it on my day off Saturday since I don't have any plans to go anywhere. And we'll see if maybe it'll work. I'm hoping to get it figured out soon because I'm going through the sticker paper and the ink like crazy, but I do know it's a learning curve and I understand that's part of the process. So I may end up just going with sticker paper number one since it does cut real well. It just, it's a removable mat and doesn't tend to want to stick as well as I would like. I mean, it doesn't fall off, but it just doesn't stick as well as I would like. So we will see. I will be, I will be uploading my weekly for the week, my weekly planner spread for November 7th through 13th. And I did have, you'll see in the video, I had a lot of trouble getting my stickers off the paper because it was the one that did not like to cut well. And, but the, the spread ended up pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I just struggled so much with the sticker paper. I either need to adjust my settings or do something. But the colors were great. The overall planner pages looked great. And I was very happy with them, just happy with the spread but not so much struggling with the stickers but like I said it's a learning process so we will see I had an oddball here number 15 which I'm not going to worry about a piece of paper for it right now I don't think I'll be using all 15 right now I could be wrong let's get these into the planner I'll put number 15 at the back. And also it has these little pockets on the inside, which I kind of like for any overflow or any oddballs. Or maybe just when you don't have time to really figure it out and just want to throw them in there for then. So that's kind of nice and handy to have. Put my cutter away here. Okay, let's start putting some stickers in. These date stickers, those I did design and print off myself. That's when I thought maybe I would separate the planner stuff out from the regular website, but I decided to stay on the regular website and so not create another one at Etsy just for the fact that it's too hard to try and keep track of it all. These are my October leftover from breast cancer. Not everything on here has pre breast cancer on it, so I thought maybe I could use them, you know, do maybe a spread in a pink and white somewhere down the road, maybe in a personal planner or my happy, mini happy planner. So I did keep those. So I'm hoping to use those eventually. My breast cancer planning is up online, my page planner, and it turned out so nice. I forget what week it was for October. I want to say, let me look and see if I can find it really quicker. October 17th was the beginning day of that one. And it turned out so cute. These are my few leftovers from my Chris, uh, Christmas, listen to me, from my Halloween spread. Again, I have a few here that can be used that, um, weren't used for it, but it can be used for others. So, I'm just going ahead and keep them because you never know when the need will arise. You really don't. Okay, and this is my spread that I just, I haven't got it put up yet. I just did it a couple days ago. It's my spread for November 7th through 13th. It was my um, leftovers from it. And they um, definitely can be used, again, somewhere within the fall month. So I am definitely keeping those because, again, I can use those here and there and everywhere. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. That, like I said, the sticker paper gave me fits, but 
I really liked how it all turned out in the end as far as the look of the page. So all was not lost. Let's see, that's from my monthly, that's over from my November monthly. I will put it in with this other leftover from my November monthlies. And my spread that I did the other day. So that will all be there and I can use that. And I still have some of my number countdowns for the month because I did do them in a burgundy for November. Oh, I'm going to have to cut those down. Hold on just a second. Get my cutter back out here. I forgot to take my registration marks and all that stuff. Cut that off. So that can be solved. That's not a biggie. Let's go ahead and cut some of this off. Make it so it will fit. sticker there's messed up. It rode over on me somehow and combined to and you should have heard the machine when it was cut and it was an awful sound you ever heard. It's having to double cut in one spot and it didn't like the idea of it. So I'm not too worried about cutting through that. Those are my Thanksgiving countdown stickers that are left. I need to do me some Christmas ones and some winter ones and all that good stuff. I'm looking forward to designing those. I'm trying to design a lot of my own. That's why it takes me so long to get my planners uploaded. I do have a few simple ones on Etsy. They have the, um, I have the Thanksgiving countdown on there. I have a grocery bag icon for when you go grocery shopping, which I did use in my most recent spread. And then I also have a warm brown headers for fall, which I have not gotten a chance to use yet, but I do hope to use at some point this month. I really like them, but I decided to go with something different in this last spread. I'm trying to make it to where all the spreads are not the same so that I won't get tired of them and, you know, worn out with them. So I'm trying to make it so different. So some stuff I will use now, some I'll use later. But I do hope to use all my own stuff eventually. That's a little bit trying to be difficult now. Go ahead and put those in the front so I know to use them on the next spread. Go ahead and throw these away. Get this cutter out of the way. Okay, and now I will put, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Being now I'm going to go ahead and put my few stickers that I have bought in here. Okay, I'm going to probably leave. Let's see, I'm going to leave one here in between, just for the fact that I'm starting the Christmas and winter stuff, and I really want to make sure that I have something left there in case I need it for another. Looks like I might have to take that one out. No biggie, but you know. And then they don't have to get open. I thought these were the cutest things. I got these for like a dollar at the Dollar General. And technically, they can be used all the way through February, almost to Valentine's Day, because they are all snowmen and winter themed, basically. And that was one reason I got them, because I like to carry stuff over. And then I also got me some of the snowflake ones, which of course can be carried over all winter as well. I really love them. They were a dollar also. There just wasn't as many. I think in this, this here, there was like 50 count. This, in the snowflake, there was 46. So you, four less, but no big deal. You can carry them over well into winter. Without a problem. I'm just now getting into the collecting of the stickers. 
when I was younger, I loved stickers. I've stuck them on everything. And journaling and planning and everything just takes me back to my childhood and gives me an excuse to buy stickers and to look at stickers and to just enjoy the overall shopping for stickers. So, these are the ones I got found at Goodwill along with these. Okay, so I think I'm going to put them in the back because that's going to be more towards, you know, like school and stuff. might have to trim those. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the back for now. Let's see how they look. No, I may not if I take them out. I may not have to trim them. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do this rather than spend the time looking how to get them open. I think I'm going to save this card. No, they don't come off the cardboard. Well, yeah, they do. I think I'll keep them on there, but I might use that cardboard for something down the road. It's really nice looking. So we'll put them there. These are the ones I opened for the haul. I did haul these about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. So that is on my playlist under my hauls. And... I hauled them along with some washi tape I found there that, come to find out, was former, after watching some other hauls, was former Target dollar spot tape. So, even though I didn't make it to Target to get the tape, I still got some Target tape. So, I was tickled about that. I wonder if I can fit two of those in a thing and then maybe not take up so much room that I may be down the road and just nip it in the bud now nip it in the bud as Barney Fife says yeah I don't know if three of these will fit in here because they stick up quite a bit but we will see we'll give it the old college try anyways I will videotape as I add to this it, will probably be short videos but you know I will as I add to it I will try and tape it if it at least of any amount we will see now with any luck these will all fit behind here then I'll have those all in one area for when yep that's wonderful. Okay, so we're back up here to Christmas. You know, I really think that's all I've gotten so far. I was trying to keep it all together. That's all I've got left over from my... I've only done a few planner videos. So that's all I've gotten left over from those. Did the breast cancer, the monthly, then the Halloween, and then November monthly, and the 7th through the 13th. So, yeah, that's all I've gotten so far. So, we'll leave it at that. At least it is set up and ready to go. Just have to put my stickers in it. No big deal. One less thing to worry about. And I will take this label off the side here because it does have a pocket here to where you can slide something down to the side, the front and the back. So, where I'm going to have this setting on my table, I think I'm going to label it as my sticker book number one. Eventually, I hope to have, like, one for all Christmas, one for all fall, one for the spring holidays, one for every day, you know, that kind of thing. But starting out, I've got this one done. It's set up. It's ready to go. Didn't take too awfully long. And I hope this helped you in deciding how to set yours up and to get yours set up before the holidays get here. Because once the holidays is here, as you know, it's already starting to get hectic, so... So I guess I'm going to have to buy some more stickers to fill it up. Give me an excuse to buy stickers and look for them. Like I really need an excuse. But anyways, so that's my sticker book. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And for me and the girls here at Hattie's Attic, have a blessed and safe day. Bye, guys.